Hi, this is Gil Ortega, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the Malibu Mastermind. You already know Kevin Harrington as the infomercial king from the first three seasons of the Shark Tank. In this short video, I'm sharing the highlights from the very first call that Malibu Mastermind did. You can find links below to get on my list or join my team. Enjoy, and let's mastermind. It is said that marketing is everything, and everything is marketing. And the corporate team here at Malibu Mastermind takes our marketing very seriously so that you benefit from our proven systems and experience. Kevin Harrington here, your official Malibu Mastermind spokesperson. I built a 30-year career as one of the world's leading marketers with over $4 billion in products sold. But let me ask you, with those results, do you think I might add a little value to the company's marketing efforts so that you can prosper? Gil Ortega, he's an online business opportunity traffic expert, and he's going to supply below retail business opportunity traffic to our affiliates. And certainly Gil is one of the top lead generators over the past 10 years. I think uh, with that, what I'd like to do now is uh, actually turn it over to Kevin and uh, have Kevin uh, share a little bit about, you know, about his background and what, why, uh, you know, he decides to participate with Malibu Mastermind. Uh, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to also thank everybody for being in on this call. Let me just say this. This, this is our absolute first call, um, which I think is, is, is a tremendous advantage for everybody that is on this call because this gives you the first, you know, mover advantage. Uh, many of the big you know, deals and checks that, that uh, come down the line for, for people to get in, involved at the right time, you know, start because people got in at the very beginning. And this is the exact position that everybody's in right now. But um, so, so thank you guys for being forward thinking by getting in at the right place. There's going to be some things uh, that, that, that as, as, as you hear about Stephen's plans, I just want to spend a, a minute just to flesh out my background um, 30 years ago, I did the first ever infomercial. I've been in the business for 30 years. I've done over 500 products, pioneered really many categories. You know, I, I was at the Philadelphia Home Show, met Billy Mays in 1986, and I said, Billy, we got to do an infomercial together. And Billy was like, what's an infomercial? Okay, so, you know, and, and I'd been doing them that, at that point for going on three years. And I did Billy's first infomercial and many more with him. And God bless, he passed away a couple of years ago, but I did his last infomercial. So, you know, Billy was a pioneer in the business. And, you know, I did Billy's first infomercial, then Anthony Sullivan's first infomercial, Jack LaLanne, the juicer guy. That was me. Tony Little, first infomercial, second infomercial, third infomercial. Um, Bruce Jenner, Chris Jenner, Kim Kardashian. Um, because when I did the Jenners back in the early 90s, Chris Jenner called me when Kim was just getting her show uh, t taken care of and said, Chris uh, said, Kim needs a little bit of, of uh, camera work. You know, can she come by and can you put her to work? And we did. We gave her an infomercial to shoot. And so, you know, it, uh, same thing with the Hilton family from Kathy Hilton to Paris Hilton. So, you know, when it comes to celebrities, I did 50 Cent, the headphone uh, a line for 50 cent. Um, CeeLo Green is under contract with me right now. Um, you know, you know. So all up and down the spectrum. When I do business with CeeLo, he tweets out six million tweets. Hey, I'm here with Kevin Harrington, and we went on CNBC together, and it was huge. Matter of fact, yesterday after yesterday morning at 10:30, I was on CNBC. You can Google it. CNBC Squawk Box. Yesterday, I've got 600,000 plus bits to my websites. So, you know, I do, you know, I, as, a, as a pioneer of the infomercial industry and putting many, many of the top people in the business, you know, I, I have a tremendous relationship with the marketplace, with the media marketplace, with the TV shows. So when Mark Burnett went to do Shark Tank, he went out to the industry and I was one of 20 that he selected. We all flew out, met with him in L.A., and I and I literally one by one beat each one until I became the shark. And and make a long story short, after 175 segments, three years on that show, I decided that it was time. It was it took 80 percent of my time 
to be on the show and follow up with the deals that I had that I got from the show, which weren't the kind of deals that I wanted to do. And, you know, the, the rest of the Sharks, you know, Barbara Corcoran, she's full-time running all of her deals, but I don't have – it was costing me millions to do those deals instead of the deals that I normally do. And so, make a long story short, I chose – to move on and it, it, it was a great thing for me because I got a good run on the show and then it then it allowed me to continue you know I do the Today Show three weeks ago I was on Good Morning America I was on Fox News with Stuart Varney all this stuff we can send you clips Stephen you know whatever everybody would like to see we can get them copies and clips of all these appearances to the you know all the way down to yesterday so I mean next Monday I'm on Fox and Friends in New York then I go on the Bethany Frankel show the same day. You know, this, these kinds of things give me a presence out in the marketplace. So if, if you're talking to people that want to be involved in a business opportunity, they can turn their TV on or watch a video, and there I am. And so, you know, not only the infomercial industry, though, I pioneered the entrepreneurial industry when I founded the Entrepreneurs Organization. Uh, myself and Michael Dell and a gentleman by the name of Ted Leonsis founded EO, 1987. And EO is the largest entrepreneurial organization in the world. We're in 45 countries with tens of thousands of members. Ted Leonsis was the number two guy at AOL. He's now the chairman of Groupon. And Michael Dell is Michael Dell. So uh, that was another organization when I founded, and then it was Electronic Retailing Association, ERA. So I've been through many, many different entrepreneurial businesses, billions of dollars in sales, golf products and fishing products and kitchen products. But I, as a young entrepreneur, the thing that turned my life around was when I read Think and Grow Rich as a kid. And, and I'm, I was a teenager, and it, and it put me on a path of, you know, I, I grew up in a family. My sister married a doctor. My next sister married a lawyer. My brother was a corporate executive with Gillette. I came along the entrepreneur because I read Think and Grow Rich and loved the concept of the mastermind from that book. And that's what I have done my whole life is masterminded with other people in, you know, what was the entrepreneur's organization? It was a, a global mastermind of entrepreneurs and electronic retailing association, the same thing. And so I I get a chance to mastermind with the Dells and the Leonces of the world at the high levels. I mean, when I, when I called Ted Leonis, as chairman of Groupon, I said, I want to meet the CEO. I went to, flew to Chicago and met the CEO of Groupon, Eric Lipkowski. And, you know, boom, boom. So this is what uh, I'm here to say, is that Think and Grow Rich, the mastermind program where it all started, was what was, was my beginning of, of understanding this concept. And then when I saw Guppy Ranker, they did an infomercial before they did Tony Robbins. And Greg Ranker, he's made over he's, – he's, he's, a, he's a certified billionaire now. His company, Proactive, is, it does a billion dollars a year, and it's worth about $5 billion. And, you know, and he owns half that company. So, so Greg did – his very first infomercial was called Think and Grow Rich. And it, it took him and put him on the map in the infomercial industry. Then he did Tony Robbins. But what, what he found was this was a very – powerful, powerful format. And I'm saying right now that we're launching more than a product. I mean, that's what I've done all my life. When I launched a Tony Little Gazelle, which did a billion dollars, that's great, but it was here, there, and gone. This, what we're launching is a brand. And the Malibu Mastermind is, has true mass market appeal. And it's just, it's, it's absolutely the, the, the thing that I think could take all of us on this phone to a much higher level because when we get done matching people up with other people that are going to help them, and, you know, Stephen said it very quickly, but let me tell you the story of putting a shark in your tank, all right? It's very quick. The Japanese, it's a Japanese fishing story. In, in Japan, they love fresh fish, but the fish were no longer near the, the coast. You had to, the ships had to go way far out to catch uh, the fresh fish, and as, by the time they brought them back, the fish were dying. So they put freezers on the boats so they could freeze the fish, and then when they brought the fish in, 
people said, oh, wait a minute, this, this, this tastes terrible because it was frozen. So then, then there was a big crisis in Japan. Frozen fish was coming back. So they put fish tanks out on the boats to put the fish in there. But they, these fish came back almost dead because they were stuck in there and they couldn't move around. And so then one day they said, let's put a little shark in these fish tanks. And the shark, you know, kept the, the fish alive and fresh and moving and thrashing around. And that's what kept the fish fresh. And with the sharks in the tanks, they brought the fish in. They commanded the highest price. So this is what we're talking about is the shark here is interested in putting his shark and their tank, but we're going to put sharks in everybody's tank as part of Malibu Mastermind. So it's, it's a great concept. When Stephen approached me with it, I said, there's nobody that I can think of better than somebody like myself to be involved in this and, and helping with this, this business across the board. So um, I'm, I'm branded with this program. I'm looking forward to doing everything it takes to take this to a, a level that I don't think the world has yet to see. And, you know, I know, Stephen, I don't know if there's going to be questions or if you're, if you're going to be throwing some things back, but I just, I think this is, you know, what I want to say today is that I'm really solidly behind this, and this is going to be a, a, a global brand, and those of you that have the vision, and this is why you are the first movers right now, because you're on the phone today, and we're ready to go. So, Stephen, I'll, I'll flip it back to you. I just wanted to say a few words, you know, congratulating those that are on this call and hope that uh, we can all meet sometime in the very near future. 